Hey guys, welcome back to Done With Depression. Today I'm going to attempt to take these items here and make a sink out of them. So I have a Home Depot bucket, I have a drain assembly, I have some drain flex pipe stuff, and I have a flower pot. I found this little cart thing. Uh, it was free and I thought it was pretty cool. It has a little handle on the edge and it's on wheels. Um, and so I thought I would try and make something cool out of it. So ideally, I will take my flower pot, drill a large hole in the bottom, use the sink assembly, connect that to the flex pipe, and all of that will drain into my Home Depot bucket. So that's ideal situation. I already took the drawer out, even though it looks like there's a drawer there. I took the drawer out completely and then just... Um, remounted the drawer facing onto the cart so that it looks like there's a drawer but there's nothing behind it. That way when I drill the hole for my flower pot the drawer won't get in the way and I'll be able to do all of the plumbing stuff necessary down there. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens. All right, so I started drilling some holes here. I don't have the right tools yet, but essentially I was just trying to figure out how big this thing's gonna be and where I wanted it. So I got some holes here, and then I'm gonna do the full circle and fit the pot in and drill a hole in the bottom of the pot, and then we'll check back. All right, guys, we got the hole mostly drilled out here. Uh, side note, I'm just using the tools that I have. I know this probably wasn't the most efficient way to do it, but that's also part of the fun, kind of, is using whatever you have and trying to make something creative. So I got most of the hole drilled out. I'm going to file it to make it uh, even and smooth all the way around, and then we'll check back again. Alright guys, so I test fit the bowl to make sure it fits in my hole here, and then I drilled a 3 inch hole in here, and then I had to file it out to make it a 3.5 inch hole. I only had a 3 inch bit, so if you have a 3.5 inch bit, that would be a lot easier, but I didn't. So we're doing what we got here. So I have this guy here, the drain assembly, and we're going to take him apart and test fit it into our bowl here. So, it's got some gaskets in there, and this guy is gonna go into the bottom of our bowl here. And you can see that it fits, everything's good. And so now, we're gonna take it back out and it has two gaskets here, so I'm guessing that they want one to go on the inside and then one to go on the outside. But all the ways I've seen it is that you use this plumber's putty. So we're going to try that and see if the plumber's putty works. Because that's how you normally do it, I think. So we're going to make a little snake guy with our putty here. And we want the putty to go around the whole rim here. And that will make it watertight once we tighten everything down. So, you're going to put it around here and then flatten it out. And then when we fully assemble it into this guy, it's going to tighten down. And ideally some will come out the edges and that's how you know that it's completely sealed and everything's watertight in there. So I got it all around like that. Again, you can maybe use the gasket, but it looks kind of cheap and not so great. So especially for the waterproof part, I'm just going to use the plumber's putty because that's what I've seen. 
So we're going to put this guy in here. Like so. And then we're going to put on the other gasket on the bottom here. Cardboard. This other bottom guy. And then we're going to put this guy on. So, you can hand tighten that there. And this is going to be what it looks like once we fully tighten it down. So you can see everything's in there. It fits just about perfect. So when you're picking your pot, you want to make sure that you get the bottom diameter as well. Just because it's 8 inches on the top here, or 10 inches, or 12 inches, doesn't mean it's that on the bottom. So mine on the bottom is like not that much more than three and a half inches. So if I were to get a smaller pot, this wouldn't work for my pot because it would be too big around the inside and then it wouldn't be watertight. So I'm going to tighten this up here and then I'm going to fit it in over here into our hole and then we're going to do the plumbing part. All right, so you can see here, I got it all tightened down with the wrench. Uh, you can look in here and see that our putty is squeezing out. That's good. That means that we got it watertight in there uh, because we formed our own little gasket with the plumber's putty. So the whole reason that I got this guy here is because it's flexible. You can stretch it out. You can bend it. You can go whatever way you want to go with it. If you're doing it for an off-grid system like I am where it's just going to go in a bucket, doesn't really matter what you use, but I just thought this would be nice and simple and easy. Um, you can do straight plumbing pipe if you want. Mine is just going into a bucket, so it's not really that big a deal. But this is like the easiest thing I've ever seen. You have this here, you have one little gasket in there, and you just twist this guy on. like such, plop it in there, and that's your sink. Gonna make sure that my bucket's down here, and then we're gonna test it and see if it's waterproof. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video. Although it does say kitchen sink, you could use it in just about any room. Uh, you could use it in a bathroom. It's essentially just used for collecting any of your gray water. So you could use it anywhere. You could put a mirror on it and make it a little uh, bathroom thing. Use it in the kitchen. Use it uh, outside or on the patio as an outside kitchen thing. Whatever you guys want to do with it. Anyway, as I said before, I just used the tools that I had, so no judgment there. I just had to use what I had. Um, but yeah, it was pretty fun overall. It took me a little bit longer because I had to drill the holes um, with a 3-inch drill bit for an 8-inch hole, and then I had to file it down with a file to make it a circle that the pot would fit into. So difficulty level, I would probably say is only about a 3 or 4 out of 10. But that's if you have the right tools. Um, doing some of the plumbing and stuff was super, super easy. I thought it would be intimidating at first, but I had no issues with it. It was mostly just time intensive because I didn't have the right tools. But anyway, I have a link to um, all of the stuff that I used in the bottom there in the description. So check that out. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.